35% of the letting agents operating in the UK are not affiliated to bodies such as NALS or ARLA or to the Property Ombudsman Scheme. They're operating currently according to their own set of standards. Well, if they're required to join a redress scheme early next year, I suspect that their workload will be disproportionate to those that are already within the uh, within the regulated or within the controlled environment, let's yes. call it. I was going to say, actually, that the people that have voluntarily signed up with a scheme such as yours, um, they can actually say, well, we've already voluntarily done that before it became mandatory, and that's actually a very positive point about how they've raised their own standards. It, it is. Um, it's an important to get that message over. Mm -hmm. uh, those agents that have been operating according to my code of practice over a number of years, you can see the improvement. They understand what they've got to do. So locally, we've actually got a USP now because, as I say, no other agent um, has got the accreditation, so we really push it out and market it. It gives us financial credibility because obviously we wouldn't have got the accreditation if we weren't doing things correctly. It enables us to continue to lead and shout even louder. I don't know if it's coming through, but we're, we're quite good at shouting about what we do. Um, but we've now got something else to shout about, which um, helps. So it gives us, and I think it gives us pride and it gives the people who work for us a lot of pride in our organisation. Well, I actually think the challenge is for the unregulated agents. Mm -hmm. I think the regulated agents should be having an absolute ball at the moment. Mm -hmm. If I were them, I would be going to every landlord viewing and every uh, tenant viewing mm -hmm. and saying, this regulation is coming, we've been doing it for years, mm -hmm. and we're a good agent. Please really think about whether you want to be with an unregulated agent mm -hmm. that is going to have to go through a, a complete change in the way they run their mm -hmm. business in less than six months' time. Mm -hmm. Best of all is it for them to, to join before it becomes mandatory. Becoming an house agent was a sort of an endorsement of what our company um, had achieved and a reminder of how far we'd come. So we felt it was a stamp of approval. So it's quite a proud moment when we got the accreditation. We've, we've now sort of kind of found that um, it's really helped our credibility. Yes. Not just for landlords, and I think some people forget it's also for tenants. Of course. Yeah. Um, so when tenants come, they're reassured that um, they're going to be looked after just as our landlords are looked after. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, main, it's mainly putting the two uh, people together. The landlords who want to be associated with the company wants to do things correctly. Mm -hmm. and and tend to want to be associated with a company that wants to do things correctly. Passion will take you quite a long way, but when you've got someone else endorsing you and actually stamping you, it's um, actually a very, very powerful message, and that's what I've found in the last year. So it's actually something that really did have a media impact, positive impact on our, on, on our company. It's really important that every opportunity that's given, um, we manage to raise the, raise the importance, because it, particularly because it's voluntary at the moment. Mm -hmm. These are the really, really good guys, because yes. otherwise they wouldn't have bothered to join. So from a consumer, it's simple. You are mad if you do not go with an Arl or Nails agent for the simple reason you don't get client money protection. As I think the last speaker was demonstrating, he said, well, you know, what does a good agent look like? And really, when people come in and they see the accreditation, that's what it looks like. I think it's a massive opportunity for agents who belong to Nails to hugely promote what they do and to get rid of the competition.